The Morning Office for September 11th. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to Him with psalms. Show us the light of Your countenance, O God, and come to us. To You I lift up my eyes, to You enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hand of their mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until He shows us mercy. I will bear witness that the Lord is righteous. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. The morning reading is taken from Mark's Gospel, chapter 9, verses 36-37. through 37. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He then took a little child whom... He sat among them and embraced, and he said to them, Anyone who welcomes a little child such as this in my name welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes not me but the one who sent me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bear witness that the Lord is righteous. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. Sing to God. Sing praises to his name. Exalt him who rides upon the heavens. Yahweh is his name. Rejoice before him, Father of orphans, Defender of widows, God in his holy habitation. I will bear witness that the Lord is righteous. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, and carry me under the shadow of your wings. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O God, because without you we are not able to please you, Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule my heart through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the power of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity, and in all I do direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen.